I have nothing funny to say before this. Pillow talk! Hi everyone. Um, what happened? So last week's pillow talk was all fun and games, but not this week. I say what happened, but like, I mean, we know what happened. Racism happened. Sexism happened. Islamophobia happened. Um, and... We all knew about it, and I guess we just chose to ignore it. So this was a very big slap of reality. Like that homophobic aunt at the dinner table at Thanksgiving. That you, you all try to shove to a corner. To ignore, and you're just like, it's crazy Aunt Sally. But she shows up every year. Uh, you guys have probably, you know, been watching a lot of videos and reading a articles. lot of articles. And getting into a deep, deep dark hole. Spiral of depression. On the internet. Maybe you're watching Pillow Talk because you're like, no, I just want to escape it for five minutes. I just want something funny. So that's what we're going to try and give you. But before that, we want you guys to know that we are here for you and that we support you. I'm like, what? I just don't, I don't know what world we're living in. Anyways. Anyways. Um... So, uh, on to this week's video. What happened, like we said, um, was white people happened. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. And we want to apologize on behalf of white people because we're pieces of shit. So first, we're sorry that it took this horrible nightmare of a thing to happen for us to apologize. Yeah. We feel like we have a lot more to apologize for because we've been doing stupid things for a very long time yeah. now. Let's just get to the list. The list of things that white people want to apologize to the rest of the world yeah. for. Mm -hmm. And the first thing um, we want to apologize for is uh, skiing. What the fuck is skiing? Why did we invent skiing? Why were we like, hey, let's go on top of a mountain of snow, of snow and ice and stick these blades on so we can go down it as fast as we possibly can. Not only that, we pay hundreds of dollars to do this. Sometimes thousands. You can't go just try skiing without spending hundreds of dollars. And I know you've seen these on the back of a lot of heads in the past few weeks, and we want to deeply apologize for Oakley sunglasses. They're ugly. They're douchey and they nominated Trump. Also, what white people want to apologize for um, are racist sports teams, like the Blackhawks, the Redskins, the Indians. We're sorry they're still around, and we're sorry we named them like that in the first place. If there was a team called the Smallpox Blankets, people at the top would have been like, no, let's stop that right away, yeah. that's not good. We're sorry for baloney. It's really just the worst of the lunch meats. It's basically like all of the rejected meats put into one meat and then served to your children. It's like the worst of the worst. It's basically what mass. Trump is made out of. Baloney. We also want to apologize for fusion restaurants, like Mexican American restaurants or Chinese American restaurants. Like your native food was good enough. Yeah. We didn't eat it with a side of french fries. French fries, by the way. Still not really American. Everyone's used it, and we'd like to apologize for whiteout. Letting white people just cover up their mistakes since elementary school. If you make a mistake, just, you know, own up to it, and that's how you learn. Don't try and cover it up. With that's, whiteness. That's psycho. We also want to apologize for scented candles. I, I mean, they smell amazing. They really make your house feel more homey. Uh -huh. But apparently they cause cancer, so that's our bad. We want to apologize for Michael Bay. And the crap he's made. Oh god. It just, like, what do his movies teach people? Uh, the American Dream, Sarah. The American is Dream. what his movies are about. The, the white American male dream. The white American straight, straight male, male dream. dream. Yes. Uh, we also want to apologize for... And I don't even think I need to explain this one, but fraternities, that was a big mistake, and we're sorry. We really don't think anything through. Or we think about them, but we just don't care about the consequences. Because yeah. we're like, it doesn't affect me. Uh-huh. So let's do it. 
white people. This is this is for white people and also you lesbians. Know, lesbians. Um, and Heche. Sorry. But we really want to apologize for Walmart. Maybe where this all really started. And finally, white people would like to apologize for the Electoral College. That idea is what got us into this mess. It's kind of screwed everyone over a couple times now. We're sorry. And you don't have to forgive us, by the way. Alright guys, well... Leave a comment with some of your feelings. Go pet your cat, because she'll make you feel better for a minute. Yeah, I think I, I think the animals can sense that something is wrong, because Sadie is being very nice this week. <laughs> and our offer still stands on marriage, guys, by the way. Even Winnie texted me the other day, and she was just like, I've taken off my engagement ring. I'm ready. So, she did? Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> but now that I said that, everyone's going to want to go marry Winnie. Because who wouldn't? Okay, well, thumbs up if you're a white person and you'd also like to apologize. Maybe leave a comment and a apologize for something else. We've missed a lot of things. <laughs> we will see you next Monday. And maybe in a week things will get worse. <laughs> Let's start doing something instead of, you know, nothing. That could be we'll run for president, like, together because we do everything together. Yes. So we'll both run for president. Well, yeah, maybe two women can be one man. Yes, maybe. Maybe. And then our slogan will be, do something. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Pillow Talk Monday. And we'll see you next Monday. We'll be here for you next Monday. Well, as you can tell by the title of this week's video, it's How to Marry a Canadian. And I think depending on tomorrow, what happens, a lot of our U.S. subscribers might find this video quite interesting.